Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, so we're going to be going over the DFS picks for NBA for today. So these are going to be my favorite plays on both FanDuel and DraftKings for the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center position. But before we get into it, we'll talk about yesterday's results real quick. A little bit of mixed results overall here. First off, at point guard, I had Raul Neto, $3,000. Only gave us 13.25 points, so that was a miss. Wanted him to get to at least 15. Thought he could get to 18 or 20. It did come out before the game that he was only going to be limited to 18 to 20 minutes. I did make a comment on that on yesterday's video just to give you guys kind of a little heads up. Victor Oladipo, $8,100. He ended up with 41.75 points, so he was a hit. A little bit above what you needed him to do, but if you had him in your lineup, you definitely weren't complaining. DeMar DeRozan, $7,700, 44.5 fantasy points. He was definitely hit very good yesterday. Should be in play again today, but I do not have him on my list. Just kind of a little bit given there. His price only went up $100. Definitely could have a very similar performance. Then Markeith Morris, man, he was a little bit of a disappointment. $3,000, 11 fantasy points. We were looking for him to get to that 18 to 20 point range. He played the minutes, though, and he played a decent amount of small ball five in this game, so... It's just frustrating that he didn't get there, but you know the thought process of him getting there was definitely correct. He just didn't actually produce on the court. Uh, Demarcus Cousins, he was a mess. Twenty-seven point seven five fantasy points. I don't even think he played in the fourth quarter, so that definitely hurt us there. Then on the Fanduel side, we got Terry Rozier, a little bit less than we like to have him out of him. Not the best day overall for him. Twenty-seven point six fantasy points. At shooting guard, we had Zach Levine, 46.4. So he just got over. He definitely was a hit for that five times the value. And same thing with Rudy Gay, you know, $4,000, 20.5 fantasy points. So, you know, just over that 5X threshold. And he was a hit, but he got the minutes that I wanted him to get. I just wanted to see him get a little bit closer to that 25-point threshold that we were looking for. Patrick Williams, boy, he was a bust, $4,500, 16.7 fantasy points. He was out there for a decent bit, too. He's such a frustrating guy to own some days, though, because he'll look really good one day and then really awful the next day. Uh, the Bulls overall were not that good yesterday. And then DeMarcus Cousins, once again, he was a slight miss on Fandle, a little bit better in DraftKings, but for what we were looking, hoping for, you know, that 40-point upside, only getting about 30 points, definitely was a miss there. That's pretty much it for yesterday's recap. We'll go over to today, look at the injuries real quick before we get into today's picks. So, injuries. So, we got Brooklyn and Detroit. Kevin Durant's out once again. You know, the whole COVID tracing and all that. Kyrie Irving didn't play the last game. Looks like he's going to play in this game. Just keep an eye out on that one. If he doesn't go, definitely gives you a boost to probably Bruce Brown or, you know, TLC. On the Detroit side, look at all these guards that are questionable, essentially. DeLon Wright, questionable. I believe he's got an ankle injury. Wayne Ellington is still questionable. Frank Jackson's questionable. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr. that they just acquired in a trade, he's questionable, unlikely to play, though. If all these point guards are out for some reason, Saban Lee comes into play. He's the minimum price, I believe, on both sites. He's not good, but he might get you 20 points, and for the minimum price, that's definitely something you can check out. Uh, Houston and New Orleans. Josh Hart's questionable. Houston, we get John Wall and Eric Gordon back. Victor Oladipo is sitting out today. Christian Wood's still hurt. So then we got the Knicks and the Heat. And on the Knicks side, we got Nerlens Noel, questionable once again. Doesn't make too big an impact for us either way. Might help Mitchell Robinson's minutes just a little bit, but he's been disappointing as of late. Derrick Rose is there, unlikely to play that they just traded for. Then you got the Heat. Gabe Vincent, questionable once again. He's likely to play. Avery Bradley, Goran Dragic, Mo Harkless, and Silver are all out once again. Then the Golden State Warriors, San Antonio Spurs. Pretty much the same thing we were looking at yesterday, except Derek White's going to be out for the Spurs this time. Definitely gives a boost to Lionel Walker, Devin Vassell, probably even Patty Mills as well. Then for the Magic, we got pretty much the same characters out. Newest one to join that group is Evan Fournier. He's been having some back issues. Definitely helps out Dwayne Bacon and James Ennis. They're kind of priced up a little bit more than I would like. If they were a little bit lower priced, I'd consider them a little bit more. Uh, Cole Anthony and Nikolai Vucevic should both see a bump once again. Portland, you know, they got Nazir Little out once again, CJ McCollum, Yusuf Nurkic, and Collins has been out pretty much all year. For Philadelphia, you just got Mike Scott out once again, so no major changes there. Sacramento side, no major changes as well. Boston, all we're looking for is that Jalen Brown questionable, is he going to play or not? 
Uh, sounds like a 50-50 shot. If he doesn't play Kemba Walker, Jason Tatum, they get a bump up. If he does play, kind of got to bump them guys down a little bit. And then on Utah's side, obviously the major one is Mike Conley being out. So we're going to get over to the picks on DraftKings real quick. And we're going to start off at the point guard position. We got DeJounte Murray once again. He had a great night last night. He ended up with eight steals, which is pretty unrealistic that he gets there again. Bump it down to maybe one or two. Do what he kind of did last night. And you're still talking about, you know, 48 points. You know, for $6,500, a guy that can get you over 40, definitely going to be worth it. You're going, you're looking for 32, 33 points, getting 36 minutes. No Lamarcus Aldridge, no Derek White. He's definitely going to be out on the court. He's definitely going to get his usage. And I think he gives you that 40 point upside more times than not. Then we're going to talk about Bruce Brown real quick. And, you know, he's $3,800. If he gets to 20 minutes, I think he pays off for that price. There's not a lot of value on this slate, so. He's kind of a guy that I'm looking at. I'm kind of looking at Lonnie Walker Jr. as well, Devin Vassell. They're both kind of in that same price range. But since I already have a spur on the list, I don't want to, like, double dip too much. But there is a lot of great options for the Spurs. DeMar DeRozan, like I said, who we had yesterday, definitely great once again. Sterling Brown, he actually played very well yesterday. Still going to be coming off the bench today, most likely. His price actually went down $300. He had 28 minutes yesterday, 26 points. I think his minutes get down, you know, probably closer to 22 minutes. But if he can get you 20 points for $3,200, that's definitely a tremendous value on a day like today where there's not a lot of value. Then we have Jeremy Grant. You know, he's at $7,000. He's averaging 40 points per game. Goes against a poor Brooklyn defense. He's going to get close to that 40-point range more times than not. Definitely going to pay off for that $7,000 price tag. Last but not least, Mr. Joel Embiid. You know, you're looking for 52 fantasy points for him. Against Sacramento, who doesn't have very good defense, the use is that he's going to be getting. Going against his former teammate, in Rashawn Holmes. Definitely going to be a big game for him. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets close to 60 in this one. Just an overall great play. A center, there's kind of a couple different guys you can look at today, but he's definitely the high-end one that you want to target if you're paying up for a center. Then if you go with these five players, you'd have about $19,000 left over. Definitely enough room that you can pay up for another player and then find some good value after that. Once again, as always, be sure you're checking out the news throughout the day, seeing who's in, who's out. You know, we're going to get some more value come closer to game time. Right now, like I said, there's not that much out there. Just be patient. I'll be leaving some comments down below as we hear some news throughout the day. Then we're going to move over to the FanDuel side. So on FanDuel, first off, we're going to start off with point guard Cole Anthony, $5,400. You know, he's been playing real well lately, getting over that 30 minutes. You're only looking for him to get to 27 points. I think he gets over 30 points pretty easily in this one. Not a very good defensive matchup in Portland. So he's going to have a fairly good game. You know, no Aaron Gordon, no Evan Fournier. He's got to be the guy. You know, there's Vucevic and him. So... One or both of them are going to have very, very good games. We kind of talked about Lonnie Walker over on the DraftKings side a little bit. Comes in at $3,500. He's coming back off an illness. He probably sees about 26 to 28 minutes in this game. If he can just get you 20 points for $3,500, that minimum price tag, definitely going to be worth it. And then small forward on Fandle is very, very ugly today. Fandle in general today is very well priced. So... It's hard to find a lot of value. Like I said, make sure you're watching that news. See who comes out, who's playing, who's not. Find that value. Definitely going to be out there helping you guys. But Joe Ingles, you know, he's he's going to get them 30 minutes probably with Mike Conley out. If he gets you to 22 to 25 points, he's going to be worth his value. On a day like today, if nothing else comes out, you're going to need a guy like this. And that kind of moves this over to our next guy, which is Julius Randle. And he's $9,000. He's about his price tag, what he's worth just a consistent guy and on a day like today that's probably what you're going to need honestly because there isn't that much value out there it goes against Miami matchup that he did pretty well on a couple days ago as well definitely a guy that I'm looking for a power forward position there's not as many mid-range and lower tier guys that I like on today's slate so you might have to pay up for one or two guys at this position then last but not least we got to Marcus Cousins we're going right back to him today on Fandle still got that six thousand dollar price tag he almost paid off yesterday for the 30 points. He still got that 40-point upside. Goes against Steven Adams. Not the best matchup in the world, but not the worst matchup either. His minutes were kind of capped yesterday. Maybe that's because they wanted him to be able to play a little bit longer today. If he gets to that 30 minutes, definitely going to pay off once again. And if you roll with these five guys over on FanDuel, you're going to have 
$31,600 left, about $7,900 per player. Definitely some good values over there to pay up for and then try to find some value along the way. I think this is a good start in terms of value and then you kind of pick your spots to pay up from there. But if you start out with these core five, it's definitely going to help you out on FanDuel. But with that being said, these are my favorite picks for today's slate on Tuesday, February 9th. If you guys have any questions at all, once again, please do not hesitate to ask me. Definitely here to help you guys out. But with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Definitely be glad to have you here on the team. You know, this channel is all about you, the viewers, honestly, because that's what all these videos are about. They're helping you out, whether it's in fantasy football, NBA DFS, NFL DFS, talking about football news, talking about fantasy baseball, talking about baseball news as well. That's my goal is to just help you guys out no matter what it is, no matter what sport it is, and to see you guys succeed as well, especially in DFS. Uh, but with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below to let you know every single time I post up a new video. And like I said, I'm going to be doing these NBA DFS videos every day, talking about my favorite picks on each website for the day at every position. And I really hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. It's something that's a little bit newer for me in terms of these videos. If there's anything you'd like to see me change about the structure, just let me know. Definitely open to your guys' thoughts and opinions. And with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. And with that being said, I really hope each and every one of you guys has a great rest of your day and does well in NBA DFS tonight.